everybody, Courtney here with Smitty's Fly Box, and we are just going to be going over August's uh, beginner tying box for the month, and that is our bunny strip minnow. Fun little pattern, kind of a zonker style fly, moves really well in the water, and it's good for a bunch of different applications when you're out fishing, whether it's warm water, salt water, or, or going after trout on western streams and eastern streams. So we'll go ahead and get started. I've got a Mustad C70S in a size two in my vise. Super strong hook and really sharp, good hook. I'm gonna start my thread just here behind the eye of the hook. And I'm not gonna tie my barbell eyes in yet. We're gonna start with our rabbit strip first, our cross cut. So I'm just gonna lay down a base layer of thread here. It doesn't have to be pretty. We're just gonna cover all this up. I'm gonna wrap back here just so my thread hangs even with the barb of my hook. I'm gonna take a piece of the crosscut rabbit in white. And so you can see when you hold that out top, so that's the fur side facing you, that rabbit strip is gonna face um, one way or the other, depending on which way you're holding it. But I'm gonna tie it in so that hair is facing out the back of the fly. That way when I wrap it, um, it flows to the back and not the front. So I'll tie that in just here at the back of the fly, just grab that little corner of rabbit hide. We'll tie that down real tight. Don't be afraid to put some nice tight wraps on that to hold that in. And then we're gonna bring it forward to about the quarter point here. So we wanna make sure we leave some space for our barbell eyes. The biggest issue when we're wrapping material, especially bulky material like a rabbit strip, is we often tend to rush the head here and get too close to the eye of the hook which makes it really difficult to finish off the fly and tie in our barbell eyes. So I'm just gonna start wrapping this hide around. Do one full turn right there at the back. And then each wrap now I'm gonna do half and half. So half the hide's on my previous wrap and the other half is on the hook shank. And I'll just kind of watch that as I go and just make sure that that hide or that hair is flowing back. And it should kind of naturally just lay out. Here you can kind of help preen it with your fingers or a comb. I'll get right up here to where my thread is. I'm just gonna pull that straight up and just kind of part the hair where that thread's gonna come through. I'm gonna bring my thread up and over. And then again, I'm gonna bind that down really tight. We're using UTC 140 here, so that's gonna help with the strength of that, so you can really kind of apply some pressure to that without breaking your thread. And I'll come in here and trim out my excess. Set that aside for the next fly. And I just take everything in my hand and fold it back, and then I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. Okay, next, I'm gonna turn my vise here. If I have a rotary function, you can just flip that upside down or if you can just turn your hook around in your vise. I'm gonna take two pieces of crystal flash here. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna wrap these two pieces around my thread. So if you can see this here, I'm just gonna take my thread and fold them right over the thread there. So I've essentially got four pieces of my flash. And I'm gonna hold them there and bring them down so they're gonna sit right on top as I come down here. They're gonna go right on top of that hook shank as I come down and around. That's gonna hold those there. And why I do that is it's gonna make it easier for these to go to the side of the cross cut rabbit. I'm gonna wrap back just slightly onto those. And then I can take these strands here and just push those down to the side. Cause we're gonna put that next rabbit strip right on top and you don't want that to cover up your crystal flash. And so I've got them down to the side. We'll make it much easier when we do our next rabbit zonker strip there so it's not right directly under that rabbit strip. Okay, so next we're just gonna rotate our hook back in our vise here just to the traditional position there with the hook point on the downside facing towards the table. Oh, I'll rotate your vise back over and we're gonna tie in our barbell eyes, dumbbell eyes. And for this one, you got two different color combinations in your in your box. I'm gonna be using the red here. I'm just gonna lay that red barbell eye just right here. Just I don't wanna lay it up here on that hump um, of where I've been tying that rabbit strip down. I'm gonna kinda come down right here on the flat portion of it. 
and try to push that right against the hump and just do some figure eight wraps. And I just like to hold that with my finger so you can push it on there with your index finger and then come up and around. And then I like to bring my middle finger and my thumb and grip it and then bring that thread across. So I'll turn that in the vise so you can kind of see. I'm gonna bring that up and around and just kind of hold that. There's we do a cross wrap. And then once that's seated on there, then you can let go and start to crank down on that a little bit more. I like to do a good number of wraps here and I'm gonna come underneath the eyes. I'm not going around the hook. I'm just coming right around the eyes to cinch all that, um, all that thread down really tight. Okay, and then I'm gonna return my hook uh, to the upright position so that is how it's gonna ride in the water with those barbell eyes facing down. And then we're gonna tie in some rubber legs, some silicone legs here. And this is where you can get really creative. Bunch of different color options out there with uh, silicone and obviously rabbit strip colors. There's tons of different colors you can do. So we're just gonna do this blue-brown color here. And all I do with this is I take one strand off of the skirt and I'm just gonna loop that right around the eye, face the one that's facing me here, and just tie that down with a few wraps. And then repeat that on the opposite side, just loop that right around the eye, easy enough. And I'm gonna bring my thread forward right in front of the eye where we're gonna tie off this fly. Okay, so next I've got my zonker strip. So this is just natural um, rabbit hair, just kind of a brown tan color. I'm gonna take that hide and push that hook point right through the middle of the hide there. And I'm gonna position this hide down. So it's down there right on the shank of the hook, not on the bend, and then move it. So all that hair, you just wanna make sure the hair isn't trapped underneath the hide itself. We can go ahead and put it back in the vise, clamp it down, and then again, just make sure it's all nice and neat there. So now here's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pull that rabbit strip tight, part the hair, and then bring my thread up and over and tie that down right in front of those eyes. I'm going to try to get that as centered on the hook shank as I can. I don't want it twisted around to the side. It just kind of ruins the the flow of the fly doesn't look quite as straight. I'll trim that off close to the eye, and then I can come in with my thread, pull all those little fuzzy fibers back that you can, and now I'm just gonna build a nice little nose or a thread head here to finish up this fly, just to clean it up a little bit. This looks really good when you finish it off with some UV glue. And that is it. So that's our bunny strip minnow. This thing moves really good in the water. The added legs too, um, it just dances and moves. Good little fly to dart around on um, out in the salt. Anywhere you're fishing, there's a good bone fish or a, a red fish fly. Uh, great for bass too and trout. So give it a shot, let us know how you do with it. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more upcoming videos and give us a like on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks guys.